Uh, so we talked uh, pretty briefly in our last uh, um, video about how to transform something on our calculator, but let's look now um, really what it actually means when I say let's sort of transform. What are we actually doing to the data? What's happening? So we know uh, we're trying to make it look linear. Um, sort of let's think about that a bit more. Um, here's an example of something that was originally an x square graph. So you can see these dots down here. Um, when we changed our axes, our x axis to an x squared axis, actually what we did is we shifted all these values over, we stretched them over um, across and across to make them linear. So the ones down the bottom, the small ones, they didn't get affected very much, but the bigger these numbers got, the more they got stretched across when we squared them. Uh, which kind of makes sense, the bigger the number you square, the bigger it is. So we're, we're changing the axes which is stretching the data and shifting the data um, to a different place to make it more linear. So we're kind of we're comparing a different axes so that we can actually look at the graph as a linear graph and compare it. It's kind of like um, eliminating the things that stop it from being linear um, so that we can um, make it linear and analyze actually just the useful parts of that. Um, so when we, when we change this axis to a squared axis, we eliminate the whole distortion and that's making it a curve and we turn it back into what it kind of wants to be, a linear shape. Um, same with the log um, transformation. These are just a bunch of different examples of transformations. So if my original graph looked like this, this shape, um, we're, we're going to see a little bit later that one of the options that could shift that um, back to being um, a linear uh, relationship is if I compress the data um, and I change it back to a log x. So I'm going to change this axis. Instead of being graphing against um, x and y, we're going to graph log x against y. Um, so that'll compress these um, values here and shift them in until they all kind of get pushed in and become a straight line. Um, same thing again, a, a 1 on x. If you see this shape, it's quite sort of smooth and flat here. Um, that's actually compressing all of these values in here and pushing them inwards and compressing all these values in here um, and really sort of compressing that all into each other. And it's actually going to turn this line, these data things, into a straight line kind of view. So that's when we graph 1 on x against y. So we don't always have to change the x axis, we could also change the y axis instead of the x axis if we wanted to. So here for example, here's another shape, and you can see this shape's pretty similar to this shape, and we're going to sort of look at our different options later, um, but one of the, some of the time you'll want to choose the y squared transformation, which means plot a new graph of x against y squared. And that'll do the same thing, that'll spread out all these sort of large values and, and push them up into a line. Um, here, log y, same sort of thing, we'll change this axis of, of y to a log y, and then it will push all these values down here into a linear shape. And finally, a 1 on y, that's actually a reciprocal um, relationship, you don't have to know that, but it's interesting, I guess. Um, that means we're going to, instead of graphing x against y, we're going to graph x against 1 on y. So what do I mean when I say, let's graph these things against other things? Basically what I'm saying is, we're going to change the two axes, and we're going to change the data that's associated with them. And when we do that, it's going to, it's going to shift the graph such that it looks like it's linear. Um, in fact, it will be linear. Um, once we've made it linear, that's really useful for us to do all those sorts of analysis. So our main aim, if it's curved and not linear, is to make it linear. How do we do that? Well, we change what we're graphing in terms of our axes. Um, we skew some of our data so that it was a particular thing. It was a squared, for example, or a log. And then because we graph it against itself, it's just going to make it linear. So if we graph it against itself, as one thing increases, the other thing increases um, at the same amount because we've now just graphed it against itself. It's an identical vision of itself um, rather than what it was before. Uh, we'll get a couple of practice. One more thing before we finish up um, is a, a circle of transformations is what this is called. So if you see your graph and it's curving this way at all, so ignore these other three, if it's curving this way at all, it's going to be one of these three transformations that we'll have to choose. And we're going to, it's going to take us, you know, three or four lessons to work through. It's probably three lessons. Um, so I understand if it's taking us a while, we'll get the hang of it. But if you see this shape, it's either going to be a y squared transformation, a log x transformation, and a one on x, or a one on x transformation. And we'll get to choose that. Uh, we'll sort of practice how we choose which one. Uh, basically, we're going to check for the best one with a residual plot. Um, and then if you see it curving this way, you've got to choose one of these four transformations. If it's curving this way, then you've got to choose one of these two transformations. And finally, if it's curved this way, you've got to choose between one of these three transformations. So you'll have four different styles of graph. For instance, 
This one here is curving upwards like that. So we would say that's kind of like the top left corner of that circle. That's kind of like this curve here. And we happen to know from this graph that it's a 1 on x transformation. Uh, but if we didn't know, we'd be looking at these three and thinking which one of the three is going to be. And we'd, we'd basically try all three. Um, we're going to get some more practice at that in class. Um, I might do one more example for us um, on the computer.